1840 the entrepreneur Ludwig Sander, together with the engineer Jean Gaspard Dolphus, founded the first direct predecessor of man, the Sanders Maschinenfabrik, in Augsburg. In 1844, it is renamed to Sirichenbich Maschinenfabrik, after the printing press pioneer Karl August Reichenbach, who made the company famous with his innovative invention. In 1857, the company is again renamed to Maschinenfabrik Augsburg. At the same time, the iron foundry and machine factory Klett & Komp is founded in Nuremberg in 1841, which is renamed to Maschinenbau Tiengesellschaft Nürnberg in 1873. In 1898, the companies in Augsburg and Nuremberg merged to Vereinigt Maschinenfabrik Augsburg und Maschinenbaugesellschaft Nürnberg AG. Dash and finally operators Maschinenfabrik Augsburg Nürnberg AG, abbreviated MAN. In 1808. Independently of this, man's roots also go back to another indirect predecessor company. The St. Anthony Iron Works in Oberhausen, founded in 1758, which was the first heavy industry company in the Ruhr region. In 1808, the smelter is merged with two neighboring ironworks to form the Jacobi, Haniel and Heisen Ironworks and Trading Company. In 1873, the company becomes Gutehefnungschut, Aktienbrain für Bergbau und Hattenbetrieb, or GHH for short. In 1921, it takes over the majority of the then financially troubled Maschinenfabrik Augsburg Nürnberg, MAN right parenthesis. Through this merger, the supply of coal, iron and steel for Maschinenfabrik Augsburg Nürnberg AG can be guaranteed in the long term. The history of MAN Group, Maschinenfabrik Augsburg Nürnberg, is indeed complex and involves several mergers and predecessor companies. Here's a summary of the key events in the formation of MAN Group. Sandisch Maschinenfabrik, 1840. Entrepreneur Ludwig Sander and engineer Jean Gaspard Dolphus founded the Sandisch Maschinenfabrik in Augsburg in 1840. See Rechendich Maschinenfabrik, 1844. In 1844, the company was renamed to See Rechendich Maschinenfabrik after printing press pioneer Karl August Reichenbach. Maschinenfabrik Augsburg, 1857. In 1857, the company was renamed Maschinenfabrik Augsburg. Klett and Komp in Nuremberg, 1841. The iron foundry and machine factory Klett & Komp was founded in Nuremberg in 1841, which was later renamed Maschinenbau Nürnberg in 1873. Merger of Augsburg and Nuremberg companies, 1898. In 1898, the companies in Augsburg and Nuremberg merged to form Vereinigt Maschinenfabrik Augsburg und Maschinenbaugesellschaft Nürnberg AG. Formation of Man. 1908. In 1908, the merged company began operating under the name Maschinenfabrik Augsburg Nürnberg AG, abbreviated as MAN. St. Anthony Ironworks 1758 Cullen, the St. Anthony Ironworks in Oberhausen, founded in 1758, was the first heavy industry company in the Ruhr region. Jacobi, Haniel and Heisen left parenthesis 1808 right parenthesis. In 1808, the St. Anthony Ironworks merged with two neighboring ironworks to form the Jacobi, Haniel and Heisen Ironworks and Trading Company. Gutehefnungschut, GHH right parenthesis 1873 colon, in 1873, the company became known as Gutehefnungschut, Aktienbrain für Bergdau und Hattenbetrieb, GHH for short. Merger with MAN. 1921. In 1921, GHH acquired the majority of Maschinenfabrik Augsburg Nürnberg, MAN, which was then financially troubled. The merger between GHH and MAN was significant because it ensured a stable supply of coal, iron, and steel for the operations of Maschinenfabrik Augsburg Nürnberg AG. This marked a crucial step in the formation of the MAN Group, a prominent German engineering company known for manufacturing heavy machinery, trucks, and other industrial products. GHH's Majority Acquisition of MAN. 1921. In 1921, Gutehefnungschut GHH acquired the majority of shares of Maschinenfabrik Augsburg Nürnberg MAN, a move that solidified their collaboration. This merger was driven by the need for a consistent supply of raw materials, such as coal, iron, and steel for MAN Group's industrial manufacturing operations. Formation of MAN Group The merger between GHH and MAN Groups marked the formation of the MAN Group, one of the largest and most diversified engineering companies in Germany at the time. The new company, Maschinenfabrik Augsburg Nürnberg AG, MAN AG, was commonly referred to as MAN. It brought together the manufacturing expertise of MAN and the resources and heavy industry experience of GHH. Diversification and Expansion Under the umbrella of MAN Group, the company continued to diversify and expand its operations. It became involved in a wide range of industries, including machinery manufacturing, steel production, and engineering services. MAN Group's products included heavy machinery, industrial equipment, trucks, and even shipbuilding. World Wars and Post-War Recovery MAN played a significant role during both World War I and World War II, by manufacturing military equipment and vehicles. 
After the wars, the company contributed to post-war recovery and reconstruction, including the rebuilding of infrastructure and industries in Germany. Post-war development. In the post-war period, MAN expanded its product offerings and continued to innovate. It became known for its contributions to the development of diesel engines and gas turbines, which found applications in various industries, including transportation and energy generation. International expansion. MAN Group expanded internationally over the years, establishing subsidiaries and production facilities in various countries. It became a global player in the fields of heavy machinery, transportation, and energy solutions. Modern MAN Group. The Modern Man Group, in January 2022, operates as a multinational corporation with a diverse portfolio of products and services. It is recognized for manufacturing commercial vehicles, trucks and buses, industrial machinery, engines, and power plants. The company has a strong presence in the automotive and engineering sectors, and serves customers worldwide. The birth of commercial vehicle production dates back to 1915. At that time, production of commercial vehicles begins in a small assembly plant in Lindau on Lake Constance. At that time still under the name of MAN Sora Last Gemwick, a joint venture with the Swissadolf Sora Ag. Light car and trucks and the heavier track trucks are produced. Just one year later, the commercial vehicle production is relocated from Lindau to Nuremberg. In the midst of the golden twenties, in 1924, MAN presents the world's first vehicle diesel engine with direct injection and completely redesigned buses built on a low-frame chassis. Only a few years after the world premiere, MAN builds the first three axle buses as well as trolleybuses. During the Second World War, the Nuremberg and Augsburg plants are repeatedly the target of air raids. There, mainly tanks or also buses and trucks are produced as army vehicles, e.g. the Inheatsdiesel, light standard off-road truck, with all-wheel drive, until the hulls and production machines are almost completely destroyed at the end of 1944. For a long time, the production of civilian commercial vehicles is also maintained. The history of commercial vehicle production, as you described, has its roots in the early 20th century. Here's a summary of the key milestones and events. However, towards the end of 1944, the production facilities suffered extensive damage from the air raids. Despite the challenges and destruction faced during the war, MAN managed to maintain the production of civilian commercial vehicles, demonstrating resilience and adaptability in the face of adversity. MAN, a well-known German company, has a long history of manufacturing trucks and commercial vehicles. They produce a wide range of trucks for various purposes, including long-haul transportation, construction, distribution, and more. Some of their popular truck series include. MAN trucks are known for their robustness, reliability, and advanced technology. They have a global presence and are widely used in the commercial transport and logistics industry. MAN has a history of innovation in the commercial vehicle sector, and their trucks are known for their performance and safety features. MAN Lion City. This is a range of buses that MAN manufactures for public transportation. These buses are designed for urban and suburban environments, and are known for their fuel efficiency and environmental friendliness. Electric and Hybrid Trucks MAN is actively involved in the development and production of electric and hybrid commercial vehicles. They offer electric versions of some of their popular truck models, which are suitable for environmentally conscious transportation in urban areas. MAN Truck History MAN has a rich history dating back to the early 20th century, as you mentioned in your previous question. The company has played a significant role in the development of commercial vehicles and diesel engines, contributing to the evolution of the trucking industry. International Presence MAN trucks are used globally, and the company has a strong international presence. They have production facilities and a network of dealers and service centers in various countries. Technology and Innovation MAN is known for its technological innovations, including advanced driver assistance systems, telematics, and connectivity solutions, which enhance the safety and efficiency of their trucks. MAN has a reputation for producing high-quality commercial vehicles, and has a long-standing presence in the trucking industry. Their products cater to a wide range of applications, and are recognized for their performance, durability, and technological advancements.